don't talk about this article. Three fourths of this is inaccurate. If your child goes down the street and somebody makes fun of him because he dropped a pass in a pickup game or says he's fat and he comes home crying to his mom, you'd understand. Where are we at in society today? Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. Who's the kid here? Are you kidding me? That's all I got to say. It makes me want to puke. Justin. Remember? You look good, Justin. I got it. Dude, there's a way to go. Okay, sorry, Justin. There's a way to go about this. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. You look good, man. Yo, guys, can you, yo, listen, 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 for real, dude, yo, guys, hold, 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 it. Yo, okay. he's talking to listen, you, listen, 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 guys, go for it, guys, wait, are you listening, yo, yeah, we're listening, we're listening, we're listening, we're listening, fucking new song, fuck this shit, give me a fucking break, one minute left, one minute fucking left. You're gonna give me fucking one minute? There's a, look at that fucking sign right there. One minute. Let me fucking tell you something. Let me tell you something. I've been around since fucking 1980 fucking eight. And you're gonna give me one fucking minute? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I'm not fucking Justin Bieber, you motherfuckers. You gotta be fucking joking. This is a fucking joke. I got one minute, one minute left. Oh, now I got nothing left. Now I got nothing left. Let me show you what one fucking minute fucking me. One minute. God fucking love you all. We'll be back. Only intelligent creatures in the universe, especially since we're not. Oh my God, a dream. There you go. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, man. How oh, was your problem, buddy? Oh, I'm not found find the best fight in the world. You tell me. Because you retired? Oh, you no. got full credit for both of those wins, Floyd. No, no, That's no, why you became no, a superstar. No, I did not. Yes, no, you did. I did not. No, sure I did you not. Did. From are you going to let, you gonna let me speak credit. my piece? If you're talking am, to me now, am I, gonna speak I gave my you piece? full credit for that. Am I going to speak my piece or not? Go am ahead. I going to speak my piece or not? Go ahead. Okay, because you want to interview me. I ain't interviewing you. You want to talk to me. I don't want. I don't worry about talking Floyd, you. want to talk to me. go ahead. I'm waiting on you. Five hours late here. And man, shut the fuck up. Come on, man. No, we just saw you on oh, Twitter come on. You know, from the border. I'm in about five hours late. Nigga, I'm here. Nigga, be happy I'm here and ask some real questions. Yeah, I was just wondering what you, what you, why you were so late. And I saw you were Twittering about stop, me being stopped at the border. I was late because I went to go get some chicken wings. That's why I was late. Anyway, I just want to thank you all for waiting. My lateness tonight is due. I don't like to be late, by the way. Man. Take it easy, bro. Be careful, Andrew. Be careful, Andrew. Yeah, watch out. He's a Spider Man. Thank you, Spider Man. Whoa, shit, whoa! Whoa! That's violent, man. Hey, get out of the way, man. Hey guys, relax. Let him go. Let him go. That's it. Everybody Someone's gonna get hurt, man. Don't throw some man. Again? Whoa, whoa! Get him, man. I keep walking in front of the. I, I did it. I did get walking in front of the car. Come on, come on. Move, 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 move. Honestly, I'm trying to drive. This is ridiculous. Take the subway. Maybe it was the pressure of the press. Perhaps it was the jet lag. 
Whatever, it took just one reporter and a simple greeting welcome to Bangkok for the pop star to lose that Icelandic cool. The British-born journalist was more stunned than injured as Björk was led away, not, however, having calmed down. Later, her record company said the reporter had been pestering her for four days. Because you've never played, you've never been an athlete before in your life. Uh, yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. On what level? Football player. What, on what level? Oh, oh, not junior. Oh my goodness, junior. Huh? Job you, you is couldn't... asking questions. Okay, and I'm so... answering them, and you're trying to tell me I'm lying to you? No. You got forward and bump your little head, man. I'm telling. For example, rage against uh, Vander Holyfield worked against you. Oh, f it. You're the fight. So whatever happens, happens. Mike, why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Do you have a problem? Turn off your station. You know what? I think we'll end the discussion right now. Then we could. You got it. Have a nice fight, Mike. Off. Class act, buddy. People who have followed in your footsteps, uh, like Kim Kardashian, are overshadowing you? No, not at all. About your moment having passed? <laughs> you want to wrap up? Could I, when I was curious about one thing. Card trick that you learned or something? Sure, yeah. Um, you brought a card? I a lot of cards. Um, do you know the um, comedian Carrot Top? Yes, horrible. Well, um, you were like the uh, Carrot Top of interviewers. Yeah. yeah. No, and it's a good thing. It's I'm going to go thing cry because... now. No, don't cry now. Cry after the interview's over. Because okay. um, otherwise I'll look like it was, I'm responsible for it. Okay, so... Um, well, you are. Well, I don't want to know that, though. Okay, okay well, so you know now. I said your name into camera. What else do you want from me? A magic trick. Okay. Right, so we can so, wrap this up. Hey, <laughs> you're on. Is that an interview that you actually gave with Katie Couric? Is that an interview that I actually gave with Katie Couric? Yeah. What's your name again? <laughs> hey, well, that, that's not the question. What's the his question? name? Pete Ross. Huh? Pete Ross. Pete Ross. Yeah. Just, that's a stupid ass question. You just saw me on there giving an interview with her. Okay. Pretty appearances get as physical as when Burt Reynolds was on The Tonight Show with then Nickelodeon host Mark Summers. It was the time where his financial situation was not good. Uh, Lonnie Anderson and he were divorcing. From the beginning, Burt seemed to be looking for trouble. I just say that because your back is to me and I, I, I was just talking to a back. Good morning. I'm, I'm still married, as a matter of fact. Yes, well, you are. But things got worse when Mark tried to get Burt back. I thought he had knocked my tooth out. I had no idea what was going on. Eventually, Mark did get revenge. There we go. And the audience loved it. They stood up. They absolutely stood up because they were not happy with him that night. They thought he was mistreating me. It all ended with a pie fight. Now he hugs me here and he whispers in my ear, I only did that because I really like you. I had no idea what that meant at the time. It was great television.